Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video on an indie brand I've never tried before. So if you like to hear about new indie brands, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing. I do post quite often, so you do get a lot of content from me and I would hate for you to miss it. Also, don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I ordered these palettes quite some time ago from Unique Beauty and they finally arrived and what I've been doing, because I feel like there's a teeny tiny, like a teeny tiny little lull in the makeup launches right now where there's some stuff coming out, like the Tinkerbell collection just launched today and I feel like I've had a little bit of time to catch up so I've been filming videos with eyeshadow palettes that I've accumulated in my purgatory pile so I'm just giving myself a pat on the back but these palettes have been with me for about two weeks now and I'm finally filming with them and I'm so excited because this is a brand that I was very curious about but I didn't quite want to make the plunge because they are a UK based indie brand and I just wasn't sure I think I ended up spending about $75 on this order I'll put the information on the screen just because I'm too lazy to look up the email right now but I did pick up two palettes from them they recently launched like a Africa collection so this Roots palette is from that collection and then they also have this really cute palette called the Bubble Time Press Pigment Palette and I just really liked the color story of this one so I did go ahead and grab these two so I did film swatches and this eye look so let's get into that now Okay, so I'm filming the demo portion of this video. I'm so excited because I've never tried this brand. So I do want to swatch these palettes first. So this is a new one. This is the Roots palette. And this is what the shadows look like. Okay, so I love this color story. It's so unique. Here are the six shades in the Roots palette. And the shades that are the shimmers, these two shades, kind of remind me of the shadows from Glam Shop. So they're very flaky, very soft, lots of shimmer. So that is the first palette I ordered from Unique Beauty. And I also got this one. This is called a Bubble Time palette. And here is the back of that one. Just so you know, this palette is vegan and cruelty-free with an 18-month shelf life. It says it's made and packed in the United Kingdom. And this one that I swatched is made and packed in the United Kingdom with a 12-month shelf life, cruelty-free, 1.5 grams in each particular palette. So anyway, this is the one I'm going to swatch next. Okay, so the second palette is so pretty as well. I can say the names on that one. So it's Bubble Bath, Candlelight, Bath Salt, Lufa, Exfoliate, and Chill. So those are all of the colors from the two palettes that I picked up. And so far, just based off the swatches, I'm very, very excited. And I'm glad that I picked up some of these palettes to try out. I've never tried this brand before, so I'm very excited. I was thinking I was going to use the Roots, but now I kind of want to use both or a few shades in each palette. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Bubble Bath. And it's such a pretty, like, Tiffany blue color. So I'm going to throw that in my crease. This is such a pretty pastel kind of blue. Perfect name, Bubble Bath, for this color. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm excited. Next, I'm going to try the shade Bath Salt in the crease as well. It's like a more gray toned shade. Similar to Bubble Bath, but just a little bit grungier. Okay, so now I'm going to use the shade Candlelight, which is this pretty dark blue shade. And I'm just going to use that on the outer corner as per usual. <laughs> These mattes are layering really nicely. Okay, so I'm taking this little pencil brush and I'm going to go into this shade. It's like a dark gray in the Roots palette. And I'm going to put that on the very outer corner. 
I feel like it's been forever since I played with a duochrome shade on my lids and I'm so tempted to use this shade Chill, but I'm gonna use Exfoliate on my lids instead. It's a pretty like green brown shade, you know, the typical duochrome. I think it'll pair really nicely with the colors I put in my crease. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> It's a very soft formula, so it's definitely like moving around all over the pan. That's such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of chill and just put it at the end here where the light shimmer meets the dark matte. Okay, so that is that on the eyeshadow. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back to give you guys some thoughts on this palette. So I hope you enjoyed the swatches and seeing how I created this eye look. I did finish the look off with some products that are already in my collection and I've been trying out different lip products in my collection. So today I'm wearing the Rare Beauty. This is the shade Brave from their lipstick collection. I don't know if this has just gotten old, but I really don't like this formula on me right now. Like it rubbed off and it was just very messy. So I'm not really feeling this one. So I think this is definitely gonna go in my declutter pile because I feel like I have this shade in so many other formulas. So I don't need to hold on to something that I'm not 100% in love with. So I just wanted to mention that because I did buy that Rare Beauty lipstick when they launched initially at Sephora. So maybe it's just a little old. Anyway, let's talk about these palettes. So initially I was really excited when I swatched the shades. They did look really pretty and promising, but I am not sure I love these. I was noticing in the mirror that the mattes are pretty patchy and yeah, you can definitely see like it's patchy in certain parts and I did try to build it up and stuff like that. And so I would say these are like a five out of 10. They're definitely not my favorite. I think the color stories are really nice, but it's not my favorite formula. I think that if you live in the UK and you can gain access to these palettes pretty easily, it's definitely worth a shot. And you know, I've only tried two things from them. They have a lot of other eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and stuff like that. So I would highly encourage you guys to check them out. But for me, they were just okay. I feel like I kind of wasted my money a little bit buying these, but I do like the color story and I definitely want to give roots a shot because I didn't really use any of the shades in this palette. They do look very messy though so keep in mind definitely don't want to drop these palettes because I feel like if I drop this those two shades in the middle are definitely going to come undone so they give me glam shop vibes if I'm being honest especially this one but I will continue to try these off camera probably and keep you guys posted in my August rankings video but yeah overall I'm like okayly impressed. I don't love as much as I did when I first started putting them on. I just don't like how patchy the mattes are and I feel like they were hard to build up. Shade Bubble Bath that I was so excited about, it didn't really like retain that Tiffany blue shade that it started off as. So I'm guessing it's like oxidizing a little bit in my crease, so not 100% a fan. Okay, so I feel like I've just been saying the same thing over and over again, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Those are my first impression thoughts on these two palettes that I tried from Unique Beauty. Let me know, have you tried this brand? And if so, what are your thoughts on their products? If you haven't tried them, are you curious to try them? Let me know down in the comments. You guys know I love chatting to you there, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys!